So I got some goodies today. So as well as the Raspberry Pi AI camera, I'm also experimenting with using the Raspberry Pi 5 with the Raspberry Pi AI Hat Plus. This has got the Halo 8 Neural Network Accelerator chip on it, and that's just another type of dedicated hardware to run our neural network models on. So this plus the Raspberry Pi 5 comes to about the same price as the original Jetson Nano I was using, but it's a lot more powerful. So this is 26 tops versus the half a top I was using with the Jetson Nano. So this is designed to sit on top of the Raspberry Pi and connect via PCLE port. It also comes with a a pin extender so there's enough clearance underneath the hat for an active cooler because we're going to need active cooling for this. So you might be asking, well if you've got the Raspberry Pi AI camera working with your trained model, why do you need this setup? Well there are some limitations to the Raspberry Pi AI camera, mainly the size of the model we can load on. The model I trained and loaded took up about 90% of the memory available and we're also hardware limited to the resolution of the image we can actually do inference on. So we're limited to 640 by 640 even though the actual camera can take 4K resolution images. But even with these limitations, it's still a really useful piece of hardware that I'll be using alongside this. Not only will the Halo chip allow us to use larger models with higher resolution images, it gives us a lot more flexibility with the type of model we can use. We could connect multiple cameras and do inference in stereo, which opens up a whole range of possibilities. We can also connect multiple cameras via distributed nodes and use this as a central compute node. It also gives us a lot more flexibility with the type of data we can do inference on. So not only image data, we could use audio data and classify animals based on their calls, which is really useful for bats and birds, which might be hard to pick up on a camera. So the great thing about using things from the Raspberry Pi universe is not only is there a lot of support, but there's a lot of add-ons and accessories, such as this UPS for the Raspberry Pi 5 that not only charges the batteries and powers the Pi, but it also allows the Raspberry Pi to communicate to it to monitor the power usage and the state of the batteries. So we can power down the Pi when we get a low battery warning, and it'll also boot up the Raspberry Pi once the batteries are charged. And this is a lot nicer than the setup I was using for the Jetson Nano with the external Arduino monitoring that for it. And while this is an explicitly a solar powered battery charger, it does have a DC input jack that we can connect a solar panel to via some DC regulator. And while that's not ideal, it is good enough for now. So this is designed so the Raspberry Pi sits on top of it, which is what we want in our case because the AI hat is actually blocking the header pins for the Raspberry Pi. Instead, this uses pogo pins to connect power and comms via pads on the bottom of the Raspberry Pi. Unfortunately, the screws that came with the AI hat weren't also long enough to attach the UPS, so you'll just have to imagine what that looks like all connected for now. So I also got another Raspberry Pi high quality camera. So this is a 12.3 megapixel camera. This time I got a little screwdriver and another flexible cable for the Pi Zero, which I didn't get last time, which is nice. So to use this camera, you'll also need to get an additional lens. I just got the same wide angle lens I had last time that worked well, and that just screws onto the camera. So you can see the setup's a lot cleaner and more powerful than the original prototype with the Jetson 